day. This is Rose. Rose is training on the Welch Cam by Welchkin. Welch Cam by Welchkin with a Rosie. There's the start goal. pylons on the inside. There's our eighth hole. Y'all all have a tendency to hesitate here. There's the quarter pole. We're there the quarter in 32 seconds, so we're going to have to idle her down a little bit because she did it pretty easy. Our first time training with no earplugs. Oh, she's just kind of float. Good gated little rose. We're moving on up here to the half mile marker. Again, you gotta talk to them because they hesitate here because this is where we turn at the finish. There's the half mile marker, and we're there in five. Come on, Rose. All want to hesitate right here because this is the end of the mile. They all try to con you out of one lap early. The human to the half and closer to six. Nice even 210. Good even mile at 210 for the little Rosie. Really good on a on a grading scale. I'll give her an eight plus. I've learned through years and years of experience of training two-year-olds. If you could take a two-year-old, especially a filly and train them by themselves a mile and 210 to a jog cart. That's a good mile. That's a good mile. And as you've seen, she did it relatively easy. All even, nothing flashy. I don't look to make any speed with two-year-olds until we get down racing. And if they got it, they got it. The speed's supposed to be in the pedigree. I like to go even quarters and let them learn. That way they don't get tired and fatigued. As you've seen, we were to the half in between five and five and six, and uh, went a, a mile right there in 210. So that's real good. And she had her ears up the whole time, which tells me that she's liking it. I got to smooch to her a little bit, but that's just normal every horse to keep them focused. They like to hesitate down by the barn area, thinking that they, oh, they're going to get to go off. And then right here behind us where we turn at the end of a mile, they always want to hesitate there past the half, thinking I'm going to let them off just going one time around. So that's just typical with any horse. Old horses do it, young horses do it. To me, this is the important part of it, how they jog back. You always want them to jog back sound. And as you can see, Rosie's good and sound. No boots, just a pair of nice light hobbles. We got a little new addition to Rosie today here this week. As you can see, she's got a big hematoma there on her left hind, right there. We don't know what she did. She likes to buck and kick around in her stall or something, but she's got a little hematoma and that'll, that'll most likely go away in 10 days. I'm not going to tell you in a couple days. It's going to take a while. It'll take a good 10 days to go away, but Rosie was good. She was real good. So that's it for little Rosie. We're signing in. 
I hope you enjoy. This is only the second time that I filmed the horse. The first one being the horse before Rose. So I hope hope you enjoy your uh, your uh, version of Welch Cam by Welchkin and Rosie, owned by the Cornerstone Stock Farm of Indiana, Jeff Fowd. Rosie.